Hey guys. So that is the uh, partial blue scale that I'm going to be going over today. Um, I hope everyone is doing well out there um, during this world crisis that we are going through. I um, hope everyone's keeping their spirits up and finding interesting things to do and um, keeping yeah, keeping themselves busy in a good way, <laughs> which I know is probably proving difficult for everyone, even the most ambitious people. It's, it's a little hard to stay indoors all the time. Um, but yeah, happy spring to everyone. I know it's looking like spring out here in Colorado, so that's exciting. Um, I didn't really know what I should do for a lesson for this um, next lesson, so I was looking at some of my older ones, and I noticed I was gearing you guys up for this um, blues scale, and I never put it all together. At least I don't think I did. Um, so if I did, I'm sorry, but if not, maybe you'll... Um, or if I did, and I'm repeating myself, I'm sure that I will say different things. Um, and if you don't know this scale, um, this is a very good scale to know, especially if you're trying to play um, any blues at all. Um, I have been gearing you guys up with it um, over the past couple years, um, teaching you guys how to do the four-hole draw bend. And I also taught you guys how to do the three-hole draw half step bend so the first bend that's in the three hole draw because there are three bends in there um so yeah so that is the most the most difficult hole i would say to get all the bends just because there are four notes available to you just on the three hole draw by itself and then three of those are bends so you really have to get your um, tongue and you really in the right placement and you really have to practice your scales um, and practice your bends. But anyways, now if you've gotten those uh, two bends under your belt that I've taught you, we can put together uh, what is the first um, blues scale. It's um, not the full blues scale because I did not teach you guys how to do the one hole uh, draw bend or the two hole draw bend yet. Um, and that is in the complete scale. So I'm just going to go over the first one that I played off of and this will get you through so much um, in music and especially in blues that you'll, you'll be very surprised. Um, a lot of people, I would say, that are professional players even, um, don't really stray too far from just doing this scale and this scale alone for almost all they're playing. Um, like I said, uh, you don't have to know too many notes, uh, but you have to know that you're playing the right notes, which you'll hear, um, and you have to just play that notes, play whatever you're going to play. So even though there's only... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes in this. Um, there's so many possibilities as to what you can do. So let me, um, without further ado, show you this. Oh, and I had a comment on the last one. I am so sorry. I I had to reset my computer, and I thought that I had it set that it would flip correctly. I don't play the harmonica with my right hand. That's what it looked like in the last one, but I just didn't have a button switched on um, that I have to set up before I start my videos um, that made it look like I was playing with, um, yeah, my right hand and upside down. Um, but I'm not, I play with my left hand. Um, and I've gone over why that's important before with all this stuff and um, yeah. So, sorry about that confusion. Um, that was just an illusion. Okay, so I wrote out the scale that I was playing for you. Um, it is a G7 blues scale because we are in, in the key of G and we're using a C harp um, and we're playing second position blues harp, cross harp, um, which makes it a G7 blues scale. So hopefully you guys can see this okay. I also put that there's the root node and there's a root node. Um, and that's why those ones are there because that's the one chord. And I also put the notes of the holes just in case you're curious as to what notes you were playing. And here we go. So I'm going to try to point this out to you while I'm doing it even though it's upside down and backwards for me. So... Excuse me if I mess up a little bit. So, six whole blow. So, 
So yeah, G, F, D, D flat, C, B flat, G. Um, and you'll notice that the two root, no root notes are the same, um, and that's because we are in the key of G. So the root note is our one chord, and that is a G. And that's what it always will be. Um, your root note will always be the first note in that scale that you are playing off of. So I'll go more into that theory type of stuff some other time. Um, I almost made that my lesson, but I decided not to this time and go over this a little bit. Um, so that is the scale that I was trying to gear you guys up for this whole time um, to have under your belt. Um, this is a complete... Uh, complete partial uh, blues scale um, for this part, the the low octave to the mid range. I am missing the um, two whole draw full step bend and then going to the one um, which has the, the one whole draw bend as well. Um, and you could actually figure that out just by looking at this scale too if you just keep repeating um, the notes over and over. Um, yeah. So it's a lot of fun. Um, if you use these notes when you're at a blues jam, if you're playing with someone, if you're doing cross harp, um, you're not going to do too much wrong. Uh, there is extra things you should know and certain notes that you should avoid. Um, if you're going to go be going to the four chord and the five chord um, with the 12 bar blues or whatever type of blues you're going to do, um, which usually all have the four and the five in there though. Um, and we can go over that some other time, but I just wanted to show you guys that. And that there's so much you could do just with this. I don't have a backing track or anything for you guys to play to right now or to, for an example, but I'll just kind of uh, screw around for a second with this just to give you an idea as to what you could do. And I'm going to try to use only things I've taught you so far. Um, just playing off the scale and effects that I've taught you. Okay, so that was just a little bit of noodling, mostly all in lip pursing, lip pursing. I didn't use too much tongue blocking. I did um, accidentally go to the two hole blow and I think the six hole draw and a slight bend in there. So those are the three notes that I used um, extra. And yeah, and that is partially because um, the six hole blow and draw and draw bend are all in the actual full blues scale. So I, sorry about that, but at least I'm telling you guys. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, if I had a backing track or um, someone to play a guitar for me right now, then I'd be better able to show you. Um, I wanted to use one, but I was afraid that because before I had YouTube shut down one of my videos or they just took the sound out um, because I used something that I didn't own. Um, so I would say take the scale, go on YouTube, which you're on right now, and go um, just Google or Google search in YouTube um, uh, blues backing track in the key of G and you should be able to um, sorry phone call and you should be able to jam right along um, if you have any questions about this scale if you would like me to elaborate more on it or anything like that um, just let me know and in the comments below I also had a question from someone that wanted to donate to me um, 
uh, that was from Europe and um, you couldn't use my Venmo so I did sign up for PayPal and I'm gonna put the link for there if you are interested in helping out um, since you know you know the deal it's a uh, coronavirus and I uh, don't have any any more gigs or job so yeah I love you guys and I hope that was helpful once again um, I will be back at you please feel free to leave suggestions or comments um, ideas for things you'd like to learn I did have this a suggestion from one of you guys about um, how to play folk songs on the harmonica um, if you want to elaborate more on exactly what type of folk song, if you had one in mind, um, if it's a blues folk song, um, I, I was going to try to dabble in that, but um, I kind of want to know more about what exactly you're trying um, to go after because there's a lot of different styles of folk songs. But, or if not, then I guess I'll come at you with uh, one of the folk songs from my area of the world that I'm from. Um, so anyways... Hang in there, guys. Peace out. Happy harmonica playing, and I hope this was helpful.